this is the fifth steepest incline in the United States, Baxter Street here in Los Angeles, California. It's a 32% incline. I'm gonna attempt to climb it with the Chimera Electric BMX. All right, to try to give you guys a basis of comparison for just how steep Baxter Street is, I'm first gonna tackle a less aggressive, but still pretty steep hill. Right now, I am on a 15% incline that extends for about 1,000 feet, and then we reach a lookout point where you can see over Baxter Street. Now, that kind of hill isn't exactly easy for a lot of e-bikes, uh, but the Chimera should be able to handle it no problem, and it should give you some idea of the difference between, you know, a more normal hill like this and the e-bike killer that Baxter Street is. One more thing, I'm gonna be zip tying this draggy device to the Chimera. What that does is it gives a much more accurate GPS feed and sends it to an app on my phone that I can screen record and then put in the corner of your screen so that you can see my speed and distance as I ride. Oh man, when I try to start out with BMX gearing, it's pretty hard to get up a hill like this. All right, let me hit the throttle. Oh, there we go. There it is. That's the e-bike killer right there. All right, let's head down. Well, that was surprisingly easy. All right, I think that went pretty well. Uh, the bike didn't really struggle too much climbing that really steep hill. I did have to help it by pedaling some, but that's no surprise. Uh, it's geared for a 35 mile per hour top speed. What I wanna do now is I wanna do uh, a little operation. So I wanna switch the 16 tooth cog that I've got in the rear and switch it out for a 17 tooth cog. Now that will decrease the overall top speed a little bit. It'll have like a 32 mile per hour top speed, but it will increase the torque. And then I'm gonna try to climb that hill throttle only. Uh, I think the bike can do it, we'll see. Uh, this is one of the things I love about a uh, BMX. Pretty easy to fix. Just flip it upside down and start working on it. All right, let's see what this thing's got the extra to. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> all right, not bad at all. I'm happy with that performance. Um, I've got the bike geared for a 32 mile per hour top speed with that 17 tooth cog. Um, so on a single gear, still having the kind of torque that can climb a 32% incline for that distance, throttle only, I think is impressive. Uh, especially when you consider that the bike is just shy of 36 pounds all in, including the battery. All right, that's about all the testing I'm gonna do for today, but this is a really scenic neighborhood, so I'm gonna race around here for a little bit.